Hey guys, Luke here from CRUD CNC. Uh, today I want to make a, a project out of aluminium and I'm just going to take some video along the way so you guys can see what's involved and um, you never know I might stuff up along the way so you can learn something from it too. Now uh, this is just like a little knob basically, I'm not sure if you can see that, um, with like a hexagonal shape inside for driving a uh, a socket cap head bolt. Um, basically what I want to do is just have like a nice little knob on my um, fixture for my fog buster so I can easily adjust it and also make some for the clamping bolts on my table. Um, just a project just to really learn something new and one of the major things I want to experiment with is a 90 degree 3 millimeter chamfering bit um, carbide material and hopefully I can get a nice chamfer on most of the surfaces there so it's only going to be 30 millimeters in diameter but hopefully it'll come out quite good if not I would have learned something new so anyway I'll take you to the garage now and we can uh, uh, have a look at that side of it basically what I do from here is just export um, this view as a DXF file and then I'll import it to my toolpathing software toolpath generating software which is called uh, VCarb Pro 6. Alright, so let's go to the garage. Right, uh, we're in the garage now. Um, this is the next step, it's to import the DXF file into toolpath software. I'm using VCarb Pro. Uh, this, is the D this is what it looks like here. Um, I see I've got a few um, locating holes for when I flip the piece and want to chamfer the other side. I've also got uh, some other holes here for, for the relief um, when you plunge the end mill because end mills aren't designed to drill holes, they're designed to cut uh, profile, uh, cut sideways like slotting and that sort of thing. So that's just a relief for the chips and um, it's a pretty good idea to have those. On the left here you can see all the tool paths which I've already generated and another tab here where we can see a 3D preview. Um, of, of the knob that I want to cut out with the chamfer on it. So hopefully it all goes to plan. I'll go ahead and start cutting out and um, take some video along the way. So cool. Let's get started. Exciting. cleaned up that pocket and changed the 2 mil. So there we have it. Uh, I'm actually really quite impressed at how the quality of that came out. Um, I did make two errors. One was in um, 
my pre-thinking of the, the tool pathing, those two little securing holes which I used to um, then uh, flip the piece to um, and put it in that locating spigot so I could chamfer it and stuff like that. Well, the two outer bolts were a little bit too close to the outside profile, so I couldn't then chamfer it on this side. Um, so that's an unfortunate mistake, but I'll probably make another one and, and make it better next time. So, um, And the other mistake I made was uh, just I must have missed something in a toolpath, and when I went to, um, to do the chamfer on the edge, it went down six millimeters before it was going to begin its uh, cutting path so I caught it when it was a couple of mils down but you know it's still a little nick in the side but you know um, yeah quite stoked with it actually I'll show you how it works but this chamfering came out awesomely like just amazing I'm stoked with that I'm gonna use this I'm gonna make a few more so yeah I'll just show you what it what it sort of does so then you can figure out what I'm blabbing on a bit cool uh, thanks for watching guys, uh, we'd love to know what you hear, uh, oh, not what you hear, what you think, um, cool, cheers, uh, until next time.